Hello. How nice to finally talk to you. I'm so glad to finally be here. I've wanted to interview you for such a long time. I've wanted to be on your show for such a long time. Well, then Thank we're both you. just sitting in high cotton right yes. now. Yes. <laughs> now, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. I'm glad to hear it. Well, um, your birthday was on June 9th. That's it was correct. a week ago uh, this past Saturday. That's correct. And um, there was a happy birthday. Congratulations. Hi. Um, uh, Mark Hamill uh, marked your birthday. By sending out this, he said, Fun fact, I've never met this woman. <laughs> but you're his mom. I know. You play know. you are his mom. You've never met you've never met him? I How know, is this it's possible? It's such a shame. I would love to meet him. Mark, I'd love to meet you. Where are you? Come over. I have spent Did more he say time. happy birthday? Uh no. <laughs> so maybe that you would be a don't want to meet him. <laughs> I've spent more time with Mark Hamill than you have, and I've spent more time with you than Mark Hamill has. It's like I'm the center of the Star Wars universe. <laughs> I might be. Maybe I you might can be. connect us. Mm -hmm. Anyway, congratulations. Happy birthday. Happy Thank birthday. You. Good to see you again. Thank you. Um, now, we, you know, you're an Oscar winning actress. Everybody loves you as a performer. Thank you. But you have a, you have a, a, a recurring theme to a lot of your performances. You're very smart. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Thank you. You have played a biologist, a scientist, an MIT-educated doctor, a lawyer. Even in, like, the popcorn movie, Thor, but you're an no astrophysicist. Played. What? I play those but characters. But you went to Harvard. You're an actual smarty pants. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess. Yes, I'm... Are you saying they let dummies into Harvard? I mean... <laughs> Wait, you actually graduated in the same class as Jared Kushner, didn't you? That is correct. <laughs> Oh, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Well, do, you, do, you appreciate, do you appreciate that you get sort of seen as an intelligent person, or is it a burden? Do you want to just play somebody dumb as a bag of hammers? Yeah, that would be, that would be fun. I mean, I, yeah, I don't know. You're, you're also seen as a very, uh, the intelligent brainiac. Fooled him again. Right? Fooled him again. It's... I mostly just have a good memory. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I played one of the dumbest people I know for 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> Proudly. <laughs> Proudly. Um, now, can I ask you something about Kushner? At Harvard, do you have memories sure. of him? Did you, yeah. Did you, like, did you, were you guys friends? Did you we, hang out? We were friendly. Okay. Yeah. I heard he wasn't that great of a student. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> would, you I care mean, to, would you care to elaborate? Um, yeah. Uh, hmm. What can I say on TV? Anything you want. Um, <laughs> it's a free country. Yes. I mean, uh -huh. the last days of, maybe, right? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Unfortunately, it's not very, there's not a lot, not a lot to tell. funny to say mm -hmm. about someone you were friends with becoming a supervillain. So, you know, <laughs> it's not funny. I would watch that movie, though. I think, yeah, he I think said, that's a... He said in some interview that the friends he's lost because of politics, it's like, it's like exfoliating. And I was like, oh, okay. Wow. I like the spa metaphors. <laughs> so, you're a dead skin cell. <laughs> Proudly. <laughs> um, but... <laughs> yes. That's why he glows. Close. That's why it's... Beautiful baby soft skin. That's exactly right. So you have a you have a documentary now yes. called Eating Animals. Yes. Okay. Which is coming out in New York this week and rolling out into different cities across America in the next few weeks. No, I, I my understanding is you do not eat animals. I do not eat animals. Okay. And I understand that you had a period of your life where you also did not eat animals. I, I, for seven months, starting right around now, last year, for seven months, oh, wow. I, I had nothing that had eyes past my lips. So, like, no, no, nothing with a hoof, you know, nothing with feathers, nothing with scales, no milk, no dairy or anything wow. like that for seven months. I lost a bet. And I... <laughs> I did. And my wife is so nice that she joined me. And she's still doing it. But seven months in, there was only so much roasted cauliflower one man could take. <laughs> and so now I'll do the fish or something like that. But how long have you been, not, been off, the, off the meat? Um... I've been vegetarian since I was nine and oh. vegan more recently. I okay. started like seven years ago being mm -hmm. vegan. And, um, is this for health reasons or is this for the well, morality of the way we both. treat animals? Both. And sort of what the, what the movie goes into a lot is factory farming, which is 99% of how 
all animals and dairy eggs included are raised is in really awful conditions, but also it's like the number one source of pollution of any, more than cars, anything else. Really? How so? Is it like, is this what the, the cow farts that I've heard so much about? Yes, <laughs> and yes, and their um, feces and all that goes into our mm -hmm. water supply, into our soil. That's why mm -hmm. we have E. coli on vegetables is from sick animals, mm -hmm. you know. It's not, it's not nice. <laughs> and mm -hmm. it's, it's um, so, so yeah, so it was really, um, the movie really focuses on the good farmers who are doing it right, but who aren't able to work within the system because of the kind of corporate. So we have a clip here. I believe this is one of the good farmers. What, do, you, do you happen to know what we're about I to see here? I don't know which one it it's is. A, it's a chicken farmer, I think. Or a oh, chicken, okay. Or is it Frank with the turkey? I, I didn't Maybe. meet him. <laughs> so, it's Frank with the turkey. I'm being told it's Frank with the turkeys. Okay, okay. Jim, let's meet Frank. I have done everything to bring those birds into existence. I have their parents, their grandparents. I've gathered the eggs. I set the eggs. I wash the eggs. I spend hours and days taking care of them as babies and months being with them in the pasture. Some of the lines I have here, this truly is the last of on earth. So that's a guy who raises uh, chickens and turkeys in uh, what you would consider a humane way or a more yes. humane way. Okay. Yes. So the film's not like don't eat anything at all, but if, you, if you're going to try to do it in a way that's more sustainable and not cruel to the animals. Right. And that's it's really really a small percentage that are doing it right and so like how can we as consumers demand that there's more of that and less of the factory farm stuff because i think everyone when you see it you it's not possible to to eat the same way and so how how can, how can we as consumers demand more of that well people go into their grocery stores like walmart started serving um selling organic food because consumers asked for it you know the, mm -hmm. there was not organic stuff at walmart so it's the same kind of thing if if mm -hmm. consumers demand it and also just being conscious to like once a day or once a week mm -hmm. think about not eating it even if you're not going to make a complete lifestyle change just being more conscious if everyone did it would be a lot better no i don't i don't eat anything uh with a hoof now is my thing oh i like not, these uh, rules i do I, nothing with a hoof um <laughs> i have a friend paul who says he, he won't Eat anything that's cuter than him, and <laughs> and it's everything on land is what he says. Everything on land. So if I still eat fish, because I'll, I'll still eat a fish at this point, uh, d uh, do you judge me? No, I don't judge anybody. You don't. For their choice. I don't like when people are like, "What if a carrot has feelings, Natalie?" And I'm like, "Oh, just let me eat what I want." You know, it's just the fact that. But this what, is... if, what if? What if Natalie? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be terrifying if carrots had feelings? Yeah, that would be bad. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> then what would you eat? Dirt? I guess you would eat dirt. You would have to photosynthesize at that point. You'd be screwed. Um, um, yeah. No, I don't want to. I don't want to judge anyone. It's just when you see it, it's it really feels like you know. If we look back a hundred years from now and say, what were we doing? inhumanely now you know the way that we can look back now at different points in history i think this is the big thing this is really you know the the way animals are are being raised is really and then once we start treating animals better maybe we'll start treating each other better uh yes we can only hope we can only hope and vote thank you so much for being here so good to be here Eating Animals is in select theaters tomorrow. That's Natalie Portman. We'll be right back with Carl.